Okay, so by the time you're watching this, it is November 12th. Uh, the reason that is is because I I'm not uploading on November 11th for uh, obvious reasons. And um, so this one, there's no intro. There's no uh, Thomas the Tank Engine getting punched by James while on a Triceratops. Uh, that's because I'm currently in the process of like switching laptops. Uh, my, the, my MacBook Pro, which is the thing I use to edit videos, has been acting up it's been it's been like ruining all the programs that i use so um it's a pretty it's a pretty stressful time for me because a lot of the videos that i was working on are uh, possibly gone forever which means it's really annoying it means that uh like i said i could get a dinosaur story done by december and then exact the moment i say that this happens and now there's a good chance that's going to be delayed a lot Unless this gets fixed, which I'm kind of doubtful it will be because it's Apple. So that's a problem, but let's uh, let's not dwell on that. Maybe by the time you're watching this, which is the 12th, that problem has been fixed. And uh, now let's get on with this update, which was uh, these characters, which I thought was going to be on Tuesday, but apparently they delayed it so that they could all appear at the same time. Unfortunately, it seems like one of the witches has a uh, some sort of a uh, skill problem, probably with her zombie uh, sidekick. I've read the patch notes. I I skimmed through them because it's like three characters, and I'm not too fussed about these guys. But I do remember their. Mo this is actually one of the rare. Oddly enough, when Atlantis characters and Pre Treasure Planet characters came out, I I don't remember too much. Well, actually, Treasure Planet came out. I remembered vaguely what happened, well, who they are. Uh, Atlantis characters came out, and I'm like, I have no idea who anyone is except for Kaida. But, uh, this one, surprisingly, I actually know who these are. I actually watched the movie, and I remember, uh, I, I remember, I, I think I remember one of some, uh, actions. What was it? The zombie was, like, in trouble, and the little girl was like, we have to save the zombie. And I'm just thinking, why? He's a zombie. You don't have to save him. He's already dead. But anyway, let's get into seeing these, these ugly, these ugly buggers. <laughs> Winifred Sanderson is not to be trifled with. This witchy woman is sure to suck the life right out of the enemy and have a grand time while doing it. She'll turn you into a cat. Well, she's turned someone into a cat, I remember. Oh, look, another glorious morning makes me sick. And the other one? I smell children. Mary Sanderson has a, has a knack for sniffing out trouble with her trusty vacuum as her steed. This witch is sure to leave the enemy in the dust. I do like the idea that they actually were going to release three characters from the same movie at the same time on the same day, which would have been a cool idea, actually. Unfortunately, they couldn't do that where for obvious reasons. I, I, as I mentioned, there's, there, I'm, there might be a problem with the zombie, which I'm assuming. Maybe it's another skill that there's a problem with, but I'm assuming it's the zombie because, you know, it's a sidekick character. You're basically adding two characters in one and not like just Timon and Pumbaa where it's just two animated characters. Anyway, let's get on with seeing their skill. What are you? I forgot. You're midline control. I yes, they're all control. The only difference is that uh, the delayed one, ugh, I, I just read her name and I've already forgotten it. I'm sorry. Uh, she is like all a backline control character. Everyone else is a midline control. Let's read your skills. Witchy Zap. Winifred zaps the nearest enemy with her lightning and focuses a spell on them. Stunning and lifting them into the air for 6 seconds. The enemy takes fantastic damage over this time and Winifred heals for 25% of the damage dealt. Winifred is immune to disables while focusing her spell on the enemy. The stun from this skill cannot be cleansed, avoided by evasion, reduced by tenacity, or dodged. Enemies that are immune to stuns will st will still take damage, but will not be lifted into the air. I do like that little detail, it, considering all characters who are immune to stuns. So that's nice. Spellbound. Winifred sings and dances, distracting nearby enemies, basically putting a spell on you. The first time distracted enemies hit Winifred, the distracted is the distract is replaced by a charm that lasts for six seconds. Charmed enemies gain basic damage for the duration of the charm. Winifred gains two stacks of hardy for each enemy distracted. That's actually pretty powerful. Although the distract does have a chance to fail depending on the level of the enemy. 
Soul Suck. Winifred throws a potion at the enemy with the highest energy, dealing damage, fantastic damage to enemies in an area over 4 seconds. Winifred also steals 200 energy and heals HP for each enemy hit. And the energy energy steal has a chance to fail. They're noticing a lot of characters have a chance to fail lately. Unbreakable Curse. When Winifred's HP goes below 25%, she goes Berserk. Oh, gotta love Berserk characters, am I right? While Berserk, Winifred deals 40% more fantastic damage and gains 25% improved healing. Winifred can only become Berserk in this way once per wave. And the damage increase is less effective. And then this. Twist the Bones. Winifred's Witchy Zap now targets two enemies and steals 400 energy from them over the duration of the skill. Uh, the splash area of Soul Suck is now larger, and 25% of energy gained by Winifred through her own skills gets split among her allies. Okay. I remember reading this, and I, I, I think this happened during, like... When did these patch notes came out? Uh, I think it was when Harmony was acting up. Yeah, that's when it, that's when it was. Like, the first problem that arrived on my Mac... So I wasn't too focused on reading the skills, but I, I eventually did start to understand what was going on. Uh, your friendships are with... Uh, Dem Dem How do I say her name? Demonic Demonica, right? De ah, hang on, hang on. I, I know who you are. So I've, I've watched your show, so I should know who you are. I'm going to figure out your name. Where are you? Demona. There, it's simple. Why did I forget that? <laughs> Heal when charmed, enemies deal damage. Okay. Winifred gains uh, basic damage for each enemy distracted by Spellbound for the rest of the wave up to a max of that much basic damage. Winifred keeps 33% of this bonus basic damage per wave, and she also gains reality. Winifred heals for 20% of the damage dealt by charmed enemies. Okay, that, that's pretty useful, as long considering that the charms don't fail, unless you partner up with... Uh, Draken and Simba and Nala, because Simba and Nala is a really good right off the bat charmer. Because like, she, he, like Simba will just immediately blow at whatever whoever the strongest enemy is, and then turn them on. Like Shigo will just end up destroying everyone. It's happened to me quite a few times, unless you kill them right away. Whoops. Oh, okay. Uh, and then with your sister. Uh, while Berserk, Winifred's basic attacks deal bonus fantastic damage. And Winifred gains 30% skill power for every 25% missing HP. So I'd say this one's like a, a balance. You, you, it depends on which one you prefer. Do you want like a, more healing or more damage? I think I'd lean towards uh, more healing. Because I like keeping my characters alive. I, I, that's why Ari I have Ariel. Because best right now, best healer in the game is Ariel. Which unfortunately has pushed Joy off of my team. Because Joy is like, I've wanted Joy to be my best healer, but it's just like, Ariel can do everything she can do, but better. And she also has true damage resistance, so that's that's just uh, the icing on the cake for Ariel. But anyway, let's move on to the other Sanderson sister. Uh, moving on to your skills. Vacuum ride. I, oh yes, I remember. Yeah, she, she doesn't... She couldn't find a broom, so she needed a vacuum. That's right. Uh, Mary flies over enemies on her vacuum, leaving a trail of dust behind her. All enemies are blinded for six seconds. Oh, who, who uses... Oh, Powerline. Powerline's gonna love this one. And takes uh, fantastic damage over three seconds. Enemies hit by this skill also have their tenacity and evasion reduced by 40% for eight seconds. That's a beast killer. Because... You always want something like that on the beast, because he's he can just ignore he can just flat out ignore a stun in just a second. Stat decrease have a chance to fail against enemies above level one. Okay, this is a fun one. Mary eats a snack to heal herself, then points a remote at the enemy with the most energy, charming them for eight seconds. Oh, another charmer. While charmed, the enemy also has their movement and attack speed increased. Uh, Mary favors enemies who aren't already charmed, and the charm has a chance to fail against enemies above the certain level. Well, that's actually a, that's actually a pretty cool skill. I mean, actually, it's a pretty funny skill. Ow! Oh, I scratched something. Ow. Okay, moving on. Reeking smell. Mary breathes in the essence of all charmed enemies. She heals for uh, HP and gains skill power for each charmed enemy present while this skill is used. Oh, if you... 
So she, you definitely want to use her with heavy charmers. Like, uh, pair her up with her sister. Pair her up with Simba and Nala. Draken is also a good one. Uh, Gaston. Except the, the, the charms aren't guaranteed. I would recommend uh, characters who have guaranteed charms. Megara is also a good option because she can also charm multiples. So, and then she'll just heal up and uh, Mary can gain a max skill power per wave and keep it for the remainder of each wave. Mary cannot use this skill if there are no charmed enemies. I like that little detail there because it's like if she uses this skill and there's no charmed enemies, then it's, it's pointless. So I'm glad they included that so she can only use this if at least one person is charmed. In good. That's good. Convenient curse. If a charmed enemy ever has 800 energy or more, their charm is removed. Oh? Uh, when this happens, the enemy gets hexed for 8 seconds. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna hate you then, because hex is just so annoying when I'm just trying to do... Uh... Invasion, and then all of a sudden I'm like about to do something, something in battle, and then boom. Okay, but hang on, this is only if an enemy is charmed beforehand. So then, if you just charm someone that's already okay, okay, if you team up with, let me finish reading the skill before I actually make any assumptions. Oh, and they also take damage. That's not fair. And then we all know how enemies activate hex when they yeah. We all know how hex works. So if you team her up with Simbanala, Simbanala immediately can charm someone like, say, Shigo, and then that charm is immediately replaced with a hex, and then Shigo, just as I'm about to click Shigo's ability, she gets stunned, and then I lose the battle, because if I don't use Shigo's ability right off the bat, then, uh, game over. Thankfully, we do have Zeus now, so that's a good substitute. I like pairing Zeus and Shigo, just because instant damage right off the bat, kaboom, everyone is dead, I love it. Witchy Delight, in her control, now charms two enemies and heals Mary an extra, uh, H heals Mary for extra HP. Mary also gains 40% attack speed for 7 seconds after using Reeking Smell. During this time, her basic attacks favor the charmed enemy with the lowest charm duration. When basic attacking charmed enemies in this way, she increases the duration of their charm by 2 seconds. Increasing charm duration has a chance to fail on the yada yada yada. I also realize I should be looking at the battle badges, because I have those now. Granted, I they're too expensive for me to actually be bothered to unlock them. I only unlock specific ones. Like, un I unlocked heroes for free, and then I unlocked... I spend the, the resources for sadness. And I wanted to do Ariel and Zeus as well, because they have good battle badges, but they're just so expensive, and I just can't be bothered to do all that clicking. Clicking the XP, like, repeatedly. Like... A whole minute goes by, and it's still not enough. And I'm like, oh, I don't have time for this. Nor do I have the pay. I just don't have... I just couldn't be bothered. Anyway, you're for... Oh, you're only... F oh, that's because your sister's not here yet. That's right. Uh, basic damage. Uh, at the beginning of each wave, Mary hexes enemies for six seconds. Enemies that activate this hex by using their white skill are stunned for six seconds. Mary gains 50% energy whenever an enemy activates a hex from any source. Hang on a little. Oh, I just realized that's an that's uh that's the Madam Mim skill. The Oogie The Magicka spell. The Magicka I'm thinking my words here. Uh Madam Mim's Magicka Dispel Disc, which is just like go for like the hex immediately. That's this. I knew it. I'm gonna hate this character so much. Oh, okay, whatever. Just uh, just another day in uh, Disney heroes with uh, OP heroes being introduced right off the bat. Anyway, you could get Winifred right immediately because of her uh, prize wall. And prize walls are easy. And uh, the hero quest. How much do I got to get? Yeah, I, I'm probably going to have to... Whether I wanted Winifred or not, I'm going to level her up because I'm not going to say no to 5,000 gems just right off the bat. That's going to be super helpful for... Um, uh, th when I get to the co the prize contest. Also, because the prizes in the prize... It just means more of these tokens and the prizes in the prize wall are worth it. So, I'm leveling up Winifred. And do I want to level up the others just to complete the set? I don't I, I don't think I will. I, I, I have too many characters here that I already want. Like, I want to work on them, whether they're good or not. Winifred just feels like I, I kind of have to. Zeus was also felt like I kind of had to, but now I feel like I don't. I I'm glad I worked on him because he's just 
all-powerful Zeus. Yeah, you, there's no other way of putting it. Zeus is all-powerful. Can I even get you yet? Uh, Ariel's also another one I want to work on. Uh, right now, Shigo is the main one I want to work on. I just, I'm just two badges away from yellow, and I'm trying, I could just get those right now, but I want to save as much stamina and diamonds as I can for the next stamina and diamonds contest. But anyway, I've stalled enough. This is going to be a long one in a while. Oh, someone already got her. Is she diamond crate? I think she's diamond crate, right? Then I click again. Yeah, she's diamond crate. Okay. Uh, spar. Let's spar again. Let's find someone strong. There's the announcements. Sarah Sanderson. There it is, of course. So just look there from the start. Uh, not seeing any strong heroes here. Uh, so let's... Oh, dear. That's not going to be good. That's the strongest one I could find. Joy, get out. Let's... Hang on. First of all, we need to test the size comparison. Oh, you're actually well-sized compared to Ariel. But that means... Oh, my gosh. That's a... Hero's... I, I know for a fact, Hero is small. He's small. So you are smaller. Uh, let's see. Um, Zeus? Zeus is like, like towers over everyone. Shigo. Uh, good size. What about Kim? I know Kim... Is it just me or does... Kim is not taller than Shigo, right? But I mean, I guess Shigo is crouching, so she looks smaller than everyone, but I, I don't think Kim is, should be taller than the witches. That's not right. But anyway, let's... We all we all know at this point, ever since Ariel and Gadget... Gadget got fixed, right? Yeah, she's she's bigger now. Oh, hang on. Give me Basil. Where is Basil? Uh, bah. There you are. Let me see your size. Oh, okay. You're actually appropriately sized. Okay, to battle, everyone. And immediately... Okay, well, that's, that's, that's a gadget right off the bat. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Okay, so Nick actually stood his ground for quite a while, so I think we can go 1v1. Uh, get rid of you two. Uh, don't arrange by name. Uh, power, please. Uh, so let's just have the one witch go after. Kevin, you okay? Kevin's been feeling active lately. He he he. So I'm I'm, I'm keeping my eye on him. Let's see how you do on your own. There's the chip. Oh, you immediately charmed. Sniffed. Oh, and there's the hex. Yeah, he got hexed. Okay, 1v1. She is actually pretty... She is actually really powerful. Yeah, because she can charm lock you. So, so there. And it's actually an even fight because uh, that's actually a really strong Nick. A really strong Nicky boy. Okay, let's see if Winifred is any... Oh, she's already dying. Oh, and she's charmed. Oh, but she's healing. But how? But for how much longer can she last? Oh no, she is. She poofed away. Just yep. Uh, so ca you cannot do that without your sister. Got it. Your sister so far is strong. In one in one on one, your sister is actually stronger right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Both charmed. Ah. Okay then. So far, I'm noticing that. <coughs> My throat is dry. I'm noticing my throat is dry. So right off the bat, uh, Winifred does not seem to be stronger than her... Well, against Nick, anyway. Because, uh... Well, let's try... Should we try someone else? Can I find anyone stronger? I unfortunately can't. There is no one stronger than those two. Oh, here we go. A Bunsen and Beaker. Can you beat Bunsen and Beaker? Or, uh, more appropriately, can you beat the Beakers? Yes, you can. You, you'll beat them pretty easily. Let's try that again. Is, is it the same result? Can you beat them faster? I think you could. Oh, you charm everyone? What? Oh, no way that you charmed... Can, can you not charm a single beaker? Can you just... If you charm Dr. Bunsen, you also charm all the beakers. That's dangerous. Because that means if a beaker is charmed and it blows up, the whole team dies. Yikes. Okay. It could cause a chain reaction of clone kabooms. Uh, that's all I have to say. Unfortunately, this video could have been longer if the third, if Sarah was here as well, but she's not. 
So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you when Sarah is added. And the, the zombie sidekick. Bye.